Hello. On this video, we're going to show how can you set up a WhatsApp Cloud API from scratch in less than 10 minutes. It's a process that I have been completing for a while, and I believe it has some tricks that I think are important for you to know. So the first thing would be going to the Facebook developers uh, page. I have already an account. It is, um, it is empty. You click here on My Apps, and uh, as you can see, there is nothing created here. I'm, I'm going to create a new app. Uh, you need to select which kind of app. I'm just going to select, for example, uh, one that is using WhatsApp. Here, and this one, business, uh, business app. You have to give it a name. I will name it uh, Demo uh, YouTube. For example, uh, you will have to choose a, a business account. We just click here and create account. Uh, we enter the password and click uh, submit. So when you have uh, arrived to this point, you need to select uh, WhatsApp as the uh, application that you want to use and uh, we're gonna click here on setup and um, when we're here you need to understand that you're gonna be getting a text phone number so that you can complete all, all the setup and all the testing without including your personal number so we have uh, created before this test business this is something that you have uh, to create uh, during the setup process. If you don't have one, they will give you one for free. We arrive to this page, we just click here on start using the API. So when this page loads, we get this uh, temp token that is going to be used uh, on the next steps of this process. All the messages that are going to be sent during this process is, are going to come from a testing number, which is this one here, and are going to be received by a number that you have to set up. I have included here my personal number. so. Uh, I will be receiving on it all the messages that are coming from this uh, testing number that is linked to my developer account. So, just to make sure that everything is working, I'm gonna I'm gonna click uh, uh, I'm gonna send a message to my to my phone number. So I go here, I click send message, and on WhatsApp I will be receiving this message here saying that my number is going to be uh, used for testing purposes as a recipient number. Okay, so as you can see it's coming from from this uh, US number provided by WhatsApp. So next step is going to be setting up the webhook. This is one of the you know steps in the process that is causing more confusion for people. So when we enter here, you need, to, you need to understand that you have to expose a URL which is accessible from WhatsApp Cloud API. So for that, I'm going to leave you here a card in which you can uh, expose a local server using a um, Cloudflare channel. There are many other processes. So the first thing is going to be going to the webhook section on the, on the left. And we need to subscribe to all the events. These are the events that are going to be sent to a um, callback URL, as they call it. This is essentially your uh, server, the system that is going to be receiving the WhatsApps, right? So for that, what we are using is a simple Node-RED uh, server. And with these uh, two flows, which I'm going to post on the description of the video, you will be getting the uh, the messages. So I'm gonna just open all the boxes so that you can see that the setup is extremely simple. Um, we just have uh, 
an endpoint to uh, complete the setup and another endpoint which is uh, the one here which is going to be the one receiving the messages from the WhatsApp uh, Cloud API okay as you can see nothing very difficult so as we have exposed this uh, server to the internet we're going to use the URL that is uh, accessible um, we click here um, just complete slash path which is the name that I gave to the endpoint as you saw before and now we have to include here uh, a verify token this is a you know a string that you have to choose it is open for you to choose whatever you want we click save verify and save this token is going to be used in the next steps so um, we go here we already see that whatsapp has sent us so has sent our server to this endpoint here the payload as you can see here this is the verify token that i chose before and this is well i mean the two uh, requests that has been sent now you need to subscribe to which events you want to receive on your server i'm going to subscribe to all of them because i want to receive not only the messages but any other thing that whatsapp has uh, to tell me about um, my account so i am uh, clicking subscribe to all of them uh, one by one this is the one that is sending the messages this is just in case there is uh, an update on the phone number the quality of the line and all the rest okay so now that we have subscribed to all the let me clean this to all the webhooks we can continue with the with the process if we hit on uh, test you will be able to send it to your uh, server so as you can see here we have the webhook received so we can you know do it with all other uh, endpoints so let's clean this let's finish then the process it's gonna go back to whatsapp on the quick start we have to get back to the point where we were before which is here on configure the webhooks this is the webhook that is going to be actually receiving the whatsapp messages so for that we click on this is exactly the one that we have set before okay so we need to kind of link both uh, both things on this um, on this step okay so if we click on configure the webhook we just need to make sure that the callback url is the one that we entered before and we need to make sure that the verify token string is going to be the same that we have set before okay and this is the key point where most of the people um, finds a problem so we just click here we um, enter the uh, string that we said before and uh, with that you'll see that we are already receiving messages so let's do one test just to make sure that the whole process is now working so for that we are gonna send a message again to my uh, personal phone number i will receive it on whatsapp web exact and now i'm gonna answer and if everything work i will be receiving this hello right here as you can see you see so from now on your server is going to be receiving 
the WhatsApps that are sent to your developer account. Okay. Let's try it again. This is a message to Node-RED and you see here. This is the message that we just uh, we just sent. Let's look for the this is a message to note with. Okay, so <clears throat> that was it. I hope uh, you find it useful and uh, interesting. If you like, please uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.